Okay, so back to the drawing. We got 81 north here, crossing the North Pole, goes through 70 east on the other side of the pole, and then makes her right turn. That airplane is going to be airplane A. Just like so. And airplane A will travel at 1,500 nautical miles. We'll travel 1,500 nautical miles at 419. So we'll do 1,500, 419. Now we got to go to airplane number two. Airplane number two is going to depart at 0800 UTC from 79 North. which is right here. Seventy nine North. And it's going to depart at zero eight zero zero UTC. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's going to go from 20 East across the North Pole and continue down on the same track, it's gonna hit here, 20 degrees offset will be 160 degrees west. That airplane is going to make a left turn and go this way, okay? That airplane is going to travel at 1600 nautical miles, 520 on the ground speed. 1600 nautical miles, 520, just like so. Now we have to figure out aircraft A, distance where it's crossing the North Pole, where it's gonna reach on the other side of the pole, because it's coming from the east side of planet Earth into the west side of planet Earth, okay? So we'll take sixteen hundred. Matter of fact, we're going to start with the first airplane. It's going to be easy. Airplane A is 1,500 nautical miles divided by 60. That's how many degrees it's going to travel because every degree is 60 nautical miles. Mm -hmm. 1,500 divided by 60 equals 25 degrees. So, it's coming from 81 North to the North Pole. North Pole is 90, 81 North, it's 9 degrees. Then it goes 25 minus 9 equals another 16 degrees. 90 minus 16 degrees equals 74 degrees, 0 degrees right here. 74 degrees, 0 degrees. That's north. That's going to be your latitude for aircraft A on the other side of the pole. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. Now we have to figure out aircraft B. Aircraft B is here. It's going to travel from 79 north to the North Pole. So 90 minus 79, it's going to be 11 degrees. And then it's going to continue further, all the way total distance, 1,600 nautical miles. 1,600 nautical miles divided by 60 equals 26 degrees 40. So, 26 degrees 40 minus 11 equals 1540. Now we're going to take 90 minus 1540 equals 7420. So far, B. so good. Aircraft B is going to end up on 74 degrees 20 latitude okay mm -hmm. 
Just to summarize what we did, we took the question and we made a picture out of it on the page and it shows each aircraft where it's traveling and where it's gonna get on the other side of the pole and what is gonna be the latitude at the other side. Plus, we have the distance and the speed and direction of each aircraft, okay?